Nestled among the mist-shrouded mountains of Liguria, lies the secluded village of Triora, where whispers of witchcraft linger in the air like a curse. A place that time forgot, where stone-built houses huddle together, their secrets held close in the shadowy embrace of narrow, winding lanes. The year was 1587, and an icy grip of fear began to seize the hearts of the villagers. Accusations of witchcraft like bats taking flight in the dead of night filled the air with a chilling dread. The villagers, once a close-knit community, now looked upon each other with suspicion and mistrust. The atmosphere was thick with tension, every whisper, every sideways glance, feeding into a growing frenzy of fear that threatened to consume the village. And at the heart of this village, an ancient oak tree stood, a silent witness to the terrifying events that were about to unfold. One eerie evening, under the ghostly glow of the moon, a terrified elderly woman named Elena was dragged into the town square. A throng of villagers had gathered, their faces illuminated by the flickering torches they clutched in their trembling hands. They accused Elena of witchcraft, of cursing the crops and bringing sickness upon their livestock, casting a shadow of misfortune over Triora. Despite Elena's desperate pleas of innocence, her voice barely a whisper against the rising wind, they were not swayed. They bound her to the ancient oak tree, the gnarled bark scratching at her frail skin. The tree, a silent sentinel in the village square, had witnessed countless sunrises and sunsets. But this was a night it would never forget. A bonfire was lit at the base of the tree, the crackling flames casting long, dancing shadows. As the flames licked at her feet, Elena's screams echoed off the stone walls, a chilling soundtrack to the horror that was unfolding. But as the flames consumed Elena, a thick fog rolled in, obscuring the gruesome scene from view, an impenetrable veil, as if nature itself was recoiling from the horror unfolding beneath the ancient oak tree. Time seemed to hold its breath as the villagers waited with a mix of dread and anticipation. As the fog began to lift, a collective gasp echoed through the square, where once the image of Elena, bound in a blaze, had been etched into their minds, now there was nothing. Only a charred patch of earth bore witness to the heinous act committed there. The makeshift gallows stood eerily empty, a hollow testament to the village's fear-driven actions. Confusion swept through the crowd like a chilling breeze. Whispers of bewilderment intertwined with the rustling leaves, creating a symphony of uncertainty. Eyes darted to and fro, seeking answers in the faces of their neighbors, only to be met with mirrored expressions of fear and confusion. Elena, the woman they had accused, judged and executed, had vanished into thin air. The realization hit them like a cold, hard slap. The horror they had inflicted had not extinguished this supposed curse, but instead had given birth to a far more chilling narrative. Elena was gone, but her presence was etched into the very stones of the village. The echoes of her screams would reverberate through the narrow cobblestone streets for generations to come. With Elena's disappearance, the village of Triora was forever changed the echoes of her screams forever imprinted in its walls. From that fateful night, strange things began to happen in Triora. The once peaceful village nestled in the mountains was now a place of shadows and whispers. The villagers claimed to see the ghost of Elena wandering the cobblestone streets, her eyes glowing with an unearthly light. Her spectral figure was seen in the corner of their eyes, a haunting reminder of the injustice done unto her. Whispers filled the night air, chilling the bones of those who dared to listen. It was as if the wind itself was recounting the tale of Elena's demise, each gust carrying the echoes of her final screams. The whispers grew louder each passing night, until they were a constant hum, a symphony of fear that seemed to permeate the very stones of Triora. As days turned into weeks, realization dawned upon the villagers. They had not quelled a curse, they had unleashed one. The once thriving crops withered, livestock fell ill, and an inexplicable misfortune seemed to hang over the village. It was as though Elena's spectral presence was a manifestation of the curse they had accused her of, a curse now unleashed in its full, terrifying power. The curse of the Triora witch trials had taken hold, a grim reminder of the horrors that lurk in the darkness, leaving the villagers to wonder what would happen next.